Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. My name's Ian Renfro. Glad to have you. What if you could gain some marketing hacks that would get people to take you up on your offer, your product, or service, whatever it is you're doing, whether you're speaking on stage, selling a book, or selling a product or service online or offline to get people who would say, you know, I deserve that. I deserve this, so I'm buying it. Or I'm special. I should get that just because. What if you could do that? Uh, we're going to talk about that today, what you can do for your business. I'm going to share that with you as we talk about these 10. I'm going to talk about these 10 hacks that you can in, input into your business right now, whether you're online, offline, whether you do Facebook lives or whether you do ads or whether you do posts, whether you do YouTube or whether you have a sign or a build a business or whether you just pass out business cards or whether you get up on the stage and talk. We're going to talk about that today on the Dean Renfro Show. Glad to have you with us. Hey, just let me know where you're watching from. Type it in the chat so I can see uh, where you're watching from. Uh, I would love to know that. And uh, let me know where you're watching from, who you are and where you're watching from. Love to know that about my audience. Like, uh, you know, special special kudos to those people, right? I'm wearing my Astro shirt today. Go Astros! We have a chance today to win the World Series and winning four games straight in a row. We've won the last three in a row. Uh, and uh, I'm sure they're working on some batting hacks today and some pitching hacks today so they can uh, take us to the World Series. We're super excited about that. be our second time to go to the World Series, uh, our second time to win the World Series. Uh, but here we go. We're going we're gonna to be talking about this uh, from a perspective of your business. So if you're watching this uh, and you'd like to uh, – Participate, just let me know. Type it type in the box. Give me a comment in the box so I can uh, see what you might be saying. We're glad to have you here. Appreciate you being a part of it. So the first thing you need to know, first thing you need to think about as a as a business owner, whether you're a business owner of you and you're the business, or whether you've got a product or a service or a brick and mortar store, or you do something in multi-level marketing, or you do something in network marketing, or you do anything connected to having a product to sell. We're going to talk about this. What What is it? How is it you need to approach everything you're going to be putting out in front of people in today's world? Well, let me let me share this with you. First of all, we're coming up on the biggest sales season for every business on the planet, at least in the United States, because we're coming into the Christmas season and there's going to be all kind of super things that people do and, and offer to people. Right. So the first thing you need to be thinking about, the first thing you need to be thinking about, hack number one. Right is always, always work on creating the offer as a great offer. In other words, as an offer, not just something you sell. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It should be put out there as a great offer uh, because people are addicted to offers. People are addicted to offers. So if you, you have, a, you have a, a product or a service, change what you're putting out there with an offer. So it can be something as simple as buy two, get one free. Right. Or limited time, heavy discount or, you know, free product, just pay the shipping. And some of you are familiar with that process where where you just you you create this great offer because this is how it works. The biggest the biggest marketing companies out there and the biggest companies out there do this all the time. If you've ever been to uh, one of those one of those places that sell hamburgers that has the golden things on top of them and all that kind of thing. When you go in there, you, oftentimes you'll see that they'll they'll they have a dollar menu, right? They have a dollar menu, and you buy you can buy a burger for a dollar, right? And to three dollars somewhere in there, there's an offer for that that burger. And then, but but what they immediately offer you is, do you want fries with that, or do you do you want a drink with that, or do you want a smoothie, or do you want ice cream? And suddenly that meal that was going to be one to three dollars now is five to seven dollars or more. And that's where they make their profit, right? But we started off thinking, I'm going to eat for cheap. I'm going to eat for cheap. But then suddenly the, the, the persuasion process that takes place was, you know what? I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve X with that. You know, because, hey, I'm saving money here, right? I'm saving money here. And, and that component uh, allows you to turn a normal offer, your normal product, your normal service, into a into a special offer service, 
that's that's unusual. So so think about that from your perspective as a person who has coaching. So you're a coach and you're you're trying to put coaching out there, right? And and well, how do you create a two for one offer? How do you create a limited time heavy discount offer, right? Or how do you how do you put something in place for free get the shipping process, right? So so people love to think of themselves as being they're the only person getting this special deal. And so you offer it to them in that, right? And and that's the process that takes place for people because you're you're not working it, you're not trying to sell the offer. Okay, you're not trying to put the what you're trying to sell them on is you're special and you deserve that. Right? You deserve a break today. And you can probably finish the the jingle line right there, right? Because, because they, they're not working on the product. They're working on you. They're working on how you think I deserve this. I'm special. Therefore, I should do this. Hey, I just saved. I'm saving money by doing this. Oh, I, then I can buy this. Right. I, I, I'm say I'm buying a dollar burger, but so then I can get fries and a Coke with that. Right. So so that's that's the process of what what you need to think about with your product or your service, whatever it is you're putting out there in front of people. So if you want to throw something in the box about, well, how would I sell this? How would I make this a special offer? Just put it in the comment box, even if you're watching it on the replay. And we'll talk about that. Or we might answer you about that if it's on the replay and tell you about that. So how would you make your offer special? How would you make it uh, uh, something that only that person could say, I deserve it. I deserve it. You know, the, the, you know, the concept of, uh, of think about the uh, free product, pay for the shipping. Free product. Oh, I, hey, I'm getting this for free and it's okay if I pay the shipping. That, that's no big deal because I'd have to pay the shipping. Why? Because the mindset says I would pay the shipping anyway. I would pay the shipping anyway. And so you're, you're giving, you're positioning what you have here in, as a special offer for these people because you deserve it. You deserve it. You're special. You deserve it. So, so grab that. You probably figured it out. You're special. You deserve it. That's what today shows about. You're special. You deserve it. You have to, as a business owner, shift your mindset to how do I create this as a, not about me, not about my product, not about my service, but Hey, you're special and you deserve it. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a little bitty twist in the thinking, but it's huge. It's huge. That's how that's how these companies that have done this to you and to me, right, have done that is they, they turn it from them to you. See, the biggest the biggest struggle that, that every business owner is because 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 it's inherent in us. OK, if you were to take a piece of paper and write down every time you thought about you as a person yourself, as opposed to somebody else, you, you know, the paper would be full of you. You, 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 I know me, 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 But the moment you can turn something, your product and service into you that is about somebody else, that's the moment it makes the switch. That's the hack that takes place. Oh, oh, you're special. This is a product is special for you. Special for you. Right. So that's 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 the first hack that we talk about. Now, if, you, if you've already figured out, hey, I'd like to be involved with guys that talk about stuff like this and gals that talk about stuff like this, just click the link up there in the, in the, uh, in the chat and you, and you can be a part of that too. Or you can just go right here and, and, and join a Facebook group, my Facebook group, right? I have a group that, that's where we talk about stuff like this. And you can join it. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. You can be a part of that group, right? All right. So. Let's talk about number two. Let's talk about hack number two. Hack number two. Always put your product or your service, or if you're selling yourself like a speaker, coach, trainer, that kind of thing, always try to put, represent it as a premium service, a premium product, a premium talk, a premium book, a premium uh, training, a, tra a premium coaching experience. Right? Because People today are used to buying premium. They want premium. Uh, so here's how this works. You know how this works. Now, I realize that for some of you, uh, there's a name for you. 
okay, and I'm not going to call you a name because I don't want anybody to feel bad. But if you go to the grocery store and you're walking down the aisle and you walk up to the green bean segment, right? And there's green beans. And you're thinking, okay, I want green beans. You're gonna, you're basically gonna have two kinds of green beans. Anybody want to guess what the green beans are, are gonna are gonna be divided into? One section's over here. One section's over here. One section costs a whole lot less than the other section. What's that called? What's the difference there? There's the blank. And there's the blank. Somebody want to top that in while I get a drink? Because again, this concept plays on this idea, you're special, you deserve it. You're special, you deserve it. So if you've ever walked in the aisle there and you're going to buy something, and there's always going to be, nowadays we learned this, grocers, grocers learned this first, I think. I don't know, I'm not an expert on that part of who learned it when. But but they realized that, that if you could have a generic brand, okay, made by the premium brand, and you could sell more cans of blank, the big cup, yeah. Uh, but, but okay, so let's say here we are. We're we're, we're in front of the green beans, right? We're, we're in front of the be the green beans, and uh, there's the generic brand, right? There's the store brand, whatever store you're in. They have a brand. Most of the time, if you'll look on the label, you'll find out that the store brand or the house brand or the generic brand is made by the same company that offers the premium brand, the name brand, right? Like oh, it's Manufacturing, you know, canned and producing canned by blank. And you look over there and go, oh, wow, it's the same people. Except there is a difference. You know, one may cost 70 cents and the other costs a dollar and 70 cents. And inside is basically the same components, except that the premium brand positions itself with a, a whole lot better label, a whole lot better product process, while the generic brand or the house brand may just say, Green beans with with the name of the house brand on it. The other's got all this fancy name on it, you know. And, you know, and some of them, you know, they they've created this character, you know, the Jolly Green, you know who I'm talking about, you know, and, and he's a famous bean brand, right? And all that is is to help you focus. Oh, you're special. Now you can be one of those people that always buy the name brand. Uh, I mean, always buy the generic brand and eat less quality food. That's what they want you to think. Less quality food, not quite as filtered water, not quite as gone through the, that two or three extra step that makes the premium bean a dollar more a can. A dollar more a can. Yes, I know. I figured that, Marty. Uh, and, and I'm not going to say what that is, right? But reality is, is if you if if you're you're selling. Think about it. If you're the X company that's creating both cans of the beans, suppose you make more profit at the dollar seventy can or the seventy cent can. Now you still make a profit. You still make a profit, but you make more at the dollar seventy can. And the customer leaves there thinking, thinking what? I'm special. This is premium. And when somebody walks into their cabinet, looks in the cabinet at their house, when the mother-in-law comes over and, and opens and opens the cab, uh, the uh, pantry door and looks in there for, for a meal for her grandkids, she goes, oh, look, you buy premium for our kids. I knew you loved our grandkids. I'm sure glad you don't buy that name brand, generic, plain Jane, not quite quality. can of beans because our green kids are special right because when you position your business your service your 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 uh, your product your name your book as a premium so like like if you join the group you're gonna be able to get the top 10 premium offer marketing tips. By joining the group, you're, you're going to get the premium with some more notes to it, right? You can get the premium band. Now, I'm going to give you the generic, 
plain Jane brand right here in the show. If you stay to the end, you'll hear all of them, but you're not going to hear me talk about all of them from the sense of going in depth. But if you join the group, you can get the premium version, the PDF version of the 10 marketing hacks we're talking about. All right. Now, what you normally find is that people that buy generic sell generic. People that buy, you know, house brand sell house brand. People that sell premium, people that sell, pre, people who believe in the premium idea sell premium, right? So if you're selling a product or a service, how can you position it as it is the best? It is the best. It is premium. It is premium. And and first of all, when you sell premium, what do you you know it, the the have you ever noticed that when you when you go to the generic brand, there's they're always in the cardboard sleeve and they're there's packed and packed. And the premium brand is not. It's out, it's out individually, and there's not quite there's not as many. What does that create in the mind of the buyer? Oh, wait a minute. There's only a few of these. Think about this from a if you've never worked in a grocery store and stock sales. Shelves, you learn, you know, they teach you this. You don't put as many of the premium brand out because it makes it look like people have been buying them. You always stack up the generic ones more so that it looks like nobody buys them. Think about that in your business. Think about that in a product or service that you sell. How do you position it so that the premium is the thing that everybody's buying because it it makes people. I'm special. I deserve it. This is a one of a kind. There's not many of these. Not everybody's going to get one of these. Only the people who are special and premium are going to get this because there's limited qualities. When you can use that, then you can have a 70 cent and a dollar and 70 cents. And the, and the people that want the premium, the people who are going to spend more money with you in the long run are going to be the words, are going to be, be, the, be the people who will continue to spend more money with you in the long run. Because why? Because you have planted in their mind, they are special. They deserve it. They only deserve the platinum. They only deserve the premium. They only deserve this, this one-time one release product. They, they deserve it. It is, it is something that, that, that triggers the mind, I, I deserve that because I'm special. Now, you have to find people who believe that. See, not everybody believes in your, in your customer base, in, the, in your prospect base, in your client base, in your potential customers, your potential patients, your potential clients. Not everybody believes that, that they're special. Not everybody believes that. Some people don't believe that at all. They just, I'm just plain Jane. I want plain Jane. I'm going to buy plain Jane. I live plain Jane. Uh, you know, I'm going to get the generic, you know, I'm going to buy the Kindle version, not the copy, not the hard bound copy because it's 99 cents and that's $29. And, and that, that you have people like that. Now, my, 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 my granddad had a name for those kind of people, you know, uh, and some people pride themselves in being that. Oh, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm a garage sale guru. You know, I'm a, I, 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 I'm a bargain buyer and you go out in their garage and, and nothing against these people. You go out in their garage and it's stacked with 25 years worth of paper towels and toilet paper because they bought all these things on sale and they bought them dirt cheap. All right. Well, guess what? You can't as a business owner, as a business owner, as a person that's selling a product service or yourself from the stage or from a book or from a live a live stream, you can't make a living with bargain hunting, but with bargain hunters. You have to go find those people who believe I'm special and I deserve it. Do you have a list of those people? You have a list of those people? Because you don't want to be selling them the bargain basement offers. You want to sell them the platinum offer, the special edition, the limited edition, right? And there's only so many of these, and and then that, and then we're going to switch that you can buy the generic 70 cent can any day, but this is special. Get something special. All right, so you you have to figure out 
how you do that as a business owner, as somebody who's working through the process. Now that was tip number two, right? That was tip number two. Let's talk about tip number three, right? Uh, and, and sometimes, well, let me back up. This sometimes uh, you, you have to you have to you have to figure out how to position that. So let's say you're you're uh, I'll use a typical example. Say you're a consultant or a coach or or you're a trainer of some kind of uh, something. And and when you're having a conversation with people, you have to you have to constantly be positioning the person as you're special and you deserve it. You're special. And this is just for you. This special is just for you. So I'm, I'm not going to give you a consultation. You know, a free consultation. I offer a, 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 a limited component here for people. I, I'll share I'll share one tip with everybody for free. But if but if you if you if you're looking to x 10x your whatever it is you're doing, I have a special 15 minute premium consultation that costs X. Now, if you're into marketing, you understand that's a tripwire. You understand Ryan Dice's approach. That's a tripwire. You're looking for somebody to take the step. If you want to get my free report, you can, you can, I mean, you can get my report for free, pay the shipping, right? That's a trip. You're moving people up the ladder. Oh, you're special. You deserve it. Okay. And, and, and when you do the, I, you know, I'll give you one point and you can get the other points in my, my premium consult 15 minute consultation call where I'll take you from where you are right now and get you positioned to make your next big sale or your next big improvement. Or, or, or your next big mind shift or your bit next big change in your schedule or your next big change in your business. Okay. And you sell that to them. You don't give it away. You, you give them one and you, and then you position it as a premium, as a premium, right? As a premium. So that process helps you make that happen. That process helps you make that happen. So, uh, just think about how you would position your, your sales or service. All right, number three. All right, let, number three. So understand the power of, of contrast. Okay, understand the power of, of contrast. So if, if you take, uh, give me an example. I, I know we sometimes downplay this, but when you if you take a name brand newspaper, you know, that has three initials, and you say, okay, how much would it cost me to be on the front page of X, you know, with an ad, okay? All right, and, and uh, I have to commit to so many issues to get the ad out there, right? And what might that cost? $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, $25,000, right? Right? Or let's say I wanted to put uh, my ad up on uh, my, my product, my service up on a billboard on the side of a busy a busy highway, right? And I have to make a commitment to to that for a month. Okay, it might cost anywhere from, depending on where you're putting it at in the market, anywhere from, you know, a thousand to twenty thousand dollars to put that put that up there, right? Or are you going to be on TV, uh, a TV ad, anywhere from, you know, two hundred dollars for thirty seconds to several thousand dollars for thirty seconds, or in case of a Super Bowl, several million dollars. Or, or the World Series, several million dollars, right? And, and so uh, when we look at that process, you have to think about how how do I position me as a business owner to be able to create such a kind of an ad spend for people? And part of that is because you can begin to figure out how you do add things like that right here on Facebook or right over on LinkedIn or on YouTube or on Pinterest or on Instagram or Snapchat or on people's phones through Google ads and, and, uh, and, and, and pay-per-click and those kinds of things. When you, when you take a look at that, then you suddenly realize, wait a minute, that's not that expensive, right? It's not that expensive. You're able to leverage your target audience, able to leverage your target audience. You know, if you figure out how to like, like I have a course on how you can get penny clicks over on LinkedIn. There's a strategy for that. There's a strategy of how you get penny clicks on LinkedIn in front of business owners that you're trying to reach. All right. So if you can, if you do that, then you're able to move forward with, with your business. So 
part of it is looking how do you move from physical advertisement to digital advertisement so you can leverage your investment, right? Leverage your investment, get more leads, get more engagement, make more sales, right? And increase, increase your visibility. You know, it's the idea of how can you be everywhere, be seen everywhere. And so as a, as a business owner who's selling a product or a service or yourself as a coach with a, you know, a, or a book or you're consulting or you're whatever it is you're selling as a person, your live show, your Facebook group, whatever it is you're, you're giving people a service for, how do you leverage that uh, through a digital process, right? Through a digital process. And of course, you're looking at a way that some people have chosen to do that by using a Facebook live or using a YouTube live or using a LinkedIn live or using a, uh, a Periscope live. You're able to put people in front of that using a product just like I'm using right here that lets me do this one time and puts it on all four or five of the markets at one time. Okay. So I'm leveraging my return on investment and then, and then of course getting people into something where I can continue to help them grow their business, right? That, that's how you make that work. That's how you make that work. All right, tip, tip number four, right? Tip number four is understanding where you put your, 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 your uh, product, your service, your, your self, your book, whatever it is you're selling. What, what's the channel that you put that into? And, and part of that is the way that you begin to, to move people forward because you have to be where they are. Right. It doesn't do any good to try to sell, you know, quote, ice to the Eskimo kind of thing. It doesn't do any good to try to be selling sandwiches to pizza people who are buying pizzas, you know, kind of a thing. You have to you have to realize that I've got to get where people are. I have to get where people are and you have to figure what that looks like. You have to figure that out. And there's some there. There's there some uh, psycho analysis involved in that. There's some there's some data work done in that there's some uh in other words you have to understand your type of buyer right so like like how can you analyze the buying cycle of people well you understand that the big companies all do this that's how they know it's just like when you you can go to, over to amazon and look at a product and the first thing you know you're over on facebook looking at cat videos because today's national cat day you know, you're looking at cat videos and suddenly you see an ad for that thing you were looking at over on Amazon. That's because they understand how, what, how, the, how the process works in the minds of people. Or if you go buy something on Amazon, it's suddenly up down there at the bottom. It says people who bought this bought that. Right. People who bought that bought this kind of approach. And so you, you have to understand how do I position that? How do I position myself to do that? How do I position my products to this? So, so it, it's called bundling. It's called bundling, right? So if, if, if you look at the free offer, you know, buy my blank for, get my blank for free, but just pay the shipping. And then you have an add on to that product that says, and oh, by the way, if you'd like coaching to go along with that, or you'd like to hear that on an audio version, or you'd like to get that in a video version, then click the box below and that's X. Dollars. So the free with shipping sold the sold the sold the extra. You have to figure out how to bundle bundle your product together. And this is this is done a lot around Christmas because you're going to see a lot of bundles. You're going to see loss leaders and all those kinds of things. Be thinking how do you do that in your business? How do you do that in what you do? And I think you'll find that that you'll suddenly see a whole new way of of hacking into uh, what it takes to to get people. I'm doing that because I, I deserve this because I'm special. I deserve this because you know I, I, I'm the kind of person that this is important to. I'm special and I deserve it. So kind of thing. All right. So you got questions? You got stuff you want to throw in here? See, several people have responded. Somebody throwed in a link to a YouTube video. Anybody got a question they want to ask? I want to get a drink here. So what's the 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 the, uh, the, the fifth tip is you got to figure out a funnel. 
You've got to figure out a funnel for people. Right? You've got to figure out how, how to take people down the pro buying process. How do you get people to make micro commitments along the way? How many times can you get them to say yes to something? Right? So, so your ad or, or your, 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 your showpiece, your direct mailer, your, your YouTube video, your Facebook Live, your LinkedIn, your Periscope, Whatever it is, your tweet, your Pinterest post, whatever it is, may may just give the framework of what you're doing, right? And then and then it it takes them to an option, uh, the process of of options for for themselves. So you got you've got a funnel. So if you think about the funnel being big at the top, you got you got people looking in the window. If we're going to use a brick and mortar store, people looking in the window because they got the sale paper. Funnel started with the sale paper. You know, and, and, it, and it gets somebody to come in and, and take a look, okay? And, and then they find more deals, and then they find more things connected to that deal, okay? It, it takes energy to do that. So this is the number one reason I think a lot of times it never happens with the brick and mortar people is because it takes too much energy to figure that out. And, and you have to rely on employees who don't care. They don't care if they sell one widget or no widgets. They're still going to get a paycheck on Friday, right? So you have to incentivize people, even your employees, to help you sell more stuff. To help you sell more stuff. Now, this works in the digital world by bringing on what, what's often called affiliates. People who, who share a platform with each other so their audience comes on and, and, and buys your stuff, but the person that brought them there gets a piece of the pie. Well, the same thing is often true can be true in brick and mortar, or if you're selling from a stage or you're selling from a video like this. So all, all this part helps people uh, bring that to, to happen. So you can find out more about that by clicking on the link up there at the top of, uh, of, the, of the post up there. If you're on one of my, pay, if you're on one of my pages of profile, you can, you can join the group where we talk more about that stuff. And you also can see it right there. I just posted it below here. You can look at it from that prospect, but just, just consider, say you're selling something online, your funnel might look like this. You've got, you sell clothes, okay? In particular, you, you might sell t-shirts and that t-shirt is cotton t-shirts, printed t-shirts, boys, okay? Living where, you know? Okay, so example, I'll use this example right now. There, there, there's a whole lot of stock sitting on shelves like, like Academy and Walmart and Target and all these big sporting goods stores and all these places, uh, hoping, you know, that people will come by that, even if they're not going to the game, they'll wear it at home uh, for, for the game tonight, especially here in Houston. Again, so it, it, not everybody in the nation shares this affinity with us for this, suit, for this um, uh, World Series. So, but all the Houston people, you see it everywhere today. Everybody's wearing orange or wearing some Astros uniform or uh, memorabilia, right? And, and uh, uh, the the process for them is is like, okay, we we've got this. But if they win tonight, they win tonight, then we've got to put the World Series stuff out on the shelf, which is by the way sitting in the back uh, back in the container outside the store ready to be put on the shelves if they win tonight. If they don't win tonight and they play again on tomorrow night and they win this there. If not, then it, it's a wash. Somebody, you know, lost it. It's the coulda, woulda, shoulda show at that point. But reality is, is, is there as a funnel that you are moving people through because you know who your exact target audience is. See, you, you know, the people in the in Minnesota, unless they're from Houston, are not going to be buying Houston Astros stuff tonight, today. They could care less. You know, in the New York Yankees, you know, they're eating at Whataburger, watching us on TV. You know, hoping we lose, yelling for the Nationals, right? I mean, that that's that, that's how that's working. Uh, and, and and you know, so the you know the the Dodgers are all yelling for Houston to beat the, you know. To beat the Nationals, you know, but no, but neither neither place is buying Astros or National stuff. Only the people that are passionate about the Nationals or passionate about the Astros are going to be buying this stuff, and they're going to pay they're going to pay premium based on one thing. 
on the one thing. What do you suppose the one thing is? You've heard me say it a dozen times already. Why are people going to pay, you know, $50 for a hat or $100 for a jersey or $200 for a baseball What? what or $500 for a seat? And, and, and you, can't, you can't even buy them, but now, but but they, they the people are paying thousands of dollars for a seat to be there of one one thing in their mind i'm special and i deserve it i'm special and i deserve it so when when you when you think about your product your service who your what it is you do where you stand on the stage what what you're trying to to put out in front of people have you looked at it from the position and written it from the position of my, the person in my audience needs to be thinking I'm special and I deserve that. I'm special and I deserve that. That's how you have to look at how you approach this. That's how you have to look at marketing today because we, because more than ever today, especially in, at least in the United States, more than ever today, we are very much a me-ism society. It's all about me. What's in it for me? And so sell the people, your product, your service, uh, yourself, uh, your your experience to people that believe I'm special. I deserve it. Quit selling to people who just look at it as generic. I can buy that anywhere. I can buy that. I wait a week and I can buy it at the flea market for a dollar. Quit trying to sell to those people. They will break your business. You want to look for people who believe I'm special. I deserve that. I'm special. I deserve that. All right. So, hey, if you want to get the whole list, if you want to get the whole list of all these different marketing tips, you can join the group, right? You can join the group and uh, you, you'll find it there. We'll be posting it there. So you can, you can get these marketing tips. All right. You can get these marketing tips. Other questions, other thoughts. I'm going to wrap this show up. We've been going about 37 minutes. And um, we've been talking about that. How do you how, how do you create this process for people? Right? How do you create this process for people? And um, somebody's calling me. Are you calling in on talk on the show? Probably not. I, I can tell you exactly who that is. That's a guy in Phoenix, Arizona. Who wants to sell me a bunch of a bunch of advertisement paraphernalia, pens, pads, stickers, that kind of thing, right? And, and because he thinks that's going to help me sell something. Well, here's what I've learned: it doesn't make me special, doesn't make me feel special, and I never give it to anybody that thought they felt special because of that, right? Because they got a free pen. Matter of fact, what I found out in most places that people go there, that's why they go there. Oh, I can get free pen and free paper. Right? Now I'm not against that business. Not against that business. They gotta everybody's gotta make a living. But how does it make me how do you, how do you sell it in such a way that makes me special? Because the first thing you'll do, first thing I first time I pause, they take a race to the bottom of the barrel and they cut the cost. They cut the cost. Well, normally we sell these for you know, 500 bucks, but for you today and today only, we're going to sell it to you for 99 bucks. All right, 99 bucks. And there's a race to the bottom of the barrel. So don't do that. Don't do that. It takes a huge amount of sales to do, do, do your business that way. Figure out how do you create the premium product that says you're going to buy this because you're special and you deserve it. All right. Hey, thanks for being on the show with us today. Appreciate you being here. If you want to get this PDF, be sure to join uh, the group uh, up there. You, you see the link there, and uh, it's, it's up there in the uh, description. And it's also here in the thread. You can join the group, and uh, we'll share that with you. And, and have the opportunity. How do you figure out, think through, how do I figure this out to make what I'm doing special, premium, VIP, Platinum, limited edition, special edition. And, and you get these ideas everywhere. Everywhere you go, you see this. You know, uh, a certain uh, company that makes trucks, they did this with, uh, they, they, they've done this. One company 
designed designed a, a logo and and, and 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 a placard that goes on the side of your truck just for people who live in Texas. It's called the Texas edition. All right, and they give us a few 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 cool things about the Texas edition. One company has had one of their high end line of pickup is the platinum edition. And of course it's on a platinum colored uh a uh, piece of plastic, <laughs> you know, that they stick on the side of your, your vehicle. Uh, the, do you get the idea? You get the idea? Is how do you figure out how to create platinums for people? And special edition, limited edition, VIP approaches. If you can figure out how to do that, you figure out how to do that, what you'll find, what you'll find is, is that you, you can sell your products, your services for more money to people because they believe I'm special. I deserve it. I deserve it. So use that analogy uh, and, and 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 reach out to, to, to people and start making that happen. Join the group. We'd love to have you in there. We'll be posting this in there in just a few moments. And uh, you can you can find out all about this. All about this. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a great rest of the day and go Astros.